Here's base running wrinkle number one. We talk about primary lead, secondary lead, but let's kind of make this clear that a rule of thumb is this, that I'm on the base, I want to take a lead that is my body's length, fully extended arm, plus one step. The reason for that is if the pitcher makes a move, I take one crossover step, I lay down, and my fingers are right on the front of the bag. So it's body's length extended plus one. And a good starting point to get that lead is, is simply this. I take a normal step right, normal step left, then I square, replace, replace, and that's body's length in one. I can cross over dive and I don't have to look at anything. I just need to read the pitcher. Now a secondary lead is this. Pitcher commits home, one, two, three, and I want to clap as the ball enters the hitting area because at this point, if the ball's caught, I better be ready to start back, especially if the catcher has a good arm. But I have taken, this is as far as I can be and be safe. But from here now, when the ball's down, I'm gone. Base running wrinkle number two. If there's, as a runner on first, a ball deep in the outfield, 380 feet, and I think it's going to be over the outfielder's head. And I run past second base, and all of a sudden this guy makes a circus catch, a Willie Mays catch in polo, gr polo ground. I've got to make sure I retouch second if I run by the bag to get safely back to first. If I don't retouch, they can appeal it. I can call me out. Another base running wrinkle is as a runner on third, I actually want to measure my lead and be in foul territory. So it's right, left, square, replace, replace, but I'm foul. I want to be foul because a batted ball now, if it hits me, I'm not out. I'm not on the field to play. But as I take my secondary lead, one, two, if I notice that the, as I read that the ball is not hit, then I want to put myself into fair play so that as I turn and I stay big, the catcher has no way to get the ball straight to third base. He's gonna have to throw it up and out, which means that he can't back pick me here safely at all and get me out. But if I stay in foul territory, I'm just giving him a lane to possibly back pick me and throw me out. So again, my secondary lead is one, two, step into fair play, be big, and have my head on a swivel watching what the catcher's doing as I return to third base.